Hey my name is Jasper and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video I thought it would be pretty fun to talk about some Just Dance features and game modes that I think are kind of pointless or don't add much to the game. I'll give my reasonings as to why and please remember that everything I say in this video is only my opinion and you're welcome to disagree. I hope you enjoy. Starting with a pretty obvious one here, Quick Play Mode was announced for Just Dance 2021 and was also included in Just Dance 2022. It's advertised as an endless playlist with songs based on your music preferences which sounds pretty fun in concept but in execution it completely killed this mode. It's basically a downgraded non-stop shuffle since many players at the time complained that they were stuck with the same order of songs when they tried this mode and I can say the same since I've tested it to lol. It makes this mode very boring and repetitive, which steered a lot of people away from playing this way lol. I'm not sure if this was only an option in Just Dance 1 and 2 but you have the ability to shorten the duration of a song down to about a minute and a half. It really depended on the song. I have no idea why anyone would play this way. Was it so you could play through songs faster? I just never understood. This mode. It feels like playing a demo of a game that I already own. I prefer to have the full experience of the full songs lol. I have a vivid memory of accidentally triggering this option and being annoyed that songs kept cutting off earlier now. Double Rumble was a mode in Just Dance 2018 exclusively for the Switch with choreographies using both Joy-Cons. As someone who only plays Just Dance on Wii and Switch it's a cool gimmick to have scoring that doesn't discount your right hand movements. This mode has almost no replay value though honestly. The five maps are all very basic action movements and they feel like tutorials for something that could have been much greater. Maybe some songs from the actual song list could have had alternates where you have to play with both Joy-Cons to expand on this idea. This mode feels like a test for an unfinished concept and I can't imagine anyone willingly playing these more than once. Last One Standing was only in Just Dance 1 and its concept is really cool. In this mode players are eliminated if they come in last place when playing with others or lose all their hearts by scoring X's. But again the execution is really what kills this mode entirely. Just Dance 1 is infamous for having some of the worst tracking in the entire series. And I can say from experience that this mode is completely pointless because of it. You're easily eliminated cause 80% of the time this game gives you nothing but X's. I'd love to see this game mode return now that tracking is so much more accurate. Kids mode was introduced in Just Dance 2018 and as Ubisoft puts it thanks to a custom interface, scoring, and special characters, children will be able to enjoy the game safely and independently, receiving positive and supportive feedback as they play, which really confuses me cause yes I know that some choreos can be a bit suggestive and some songs have suggestive lyrics but if kids mode is meant to keep kids safe from an already e for everyone game who says a kid isn't more than capable of exiting the kids mode and wandering onto the normal game mode. And this mode was introduced, right when JD's choreos started to dip a little in quality so I'm more than sure a kid is able to keep up with most of the normal songs in the game. This mode always felt pointless to me, if they really wanted to cater more to kids they could've went all in and released another spin-off. Thank you so much for watching till the end, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know down in the comments what you think some useless features, modes are, I'd love to read what you have to say. Consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel if you think I've earned it. But until the next time you click on one of my videos, bye.